tomorrow is 8.30 in the morning. Gonna hit a full bag by day. Bodybuilding edition. A few tips and tricks. First, you gotta get your water in. So I made an effort to kill and tie one of these on the daily. And one way to really kill water is to flavor it up. So, cut off the top of an empty water bottle. Boom. Get your inch of flight. And then pour that in and sit that throughout the day. So you guys, that's basically a gallon. I think it's like seven eighths of a gallon. And you just throw up one scoop of Intraflight and it's plenty in terms of flavor. Cause this scoop is 19 grams compared to most BCAs, which is like eight to 10 grams. But that's gonna last me throughout the entire day. I definitely make an effort to at least kill one of these, plus a couple of, a couple of water, like cup, cupfuls of this. It's gonna be a good day. Gonna kill us back by day. Let me get my, I haven't even opened this guy yet, so I'm gonna open this up. Throw my landmine in there. I'm gonna show you guys a way to uh, take in pre-workout in a very cool and pretty fun way. Later on, later on, not right now. And now we're gonna go straight to the gym. Got some yogurts on, this, this, this scoop bottom. Using this hero to give you guys a taste of what I'm doing in the gym. Let's look at this. All right, so what is going on guys? Nando here, doing another voiceover for this pull day action that I'm showing you via the GoPro. But um, just wanted to kind of walk you guys through a little bit, and then I want to talk about an idea that I have, kind of to just have a little more education, educate you guys a little bit more on supplements, uh, different nutritional facts, um, ingredients to different supplements and stuff like that. So what, I'm, what I plan on doing is Every video, or maybe every other video, is since you guys know I am sponsored by BPN, and he does give list every single ingredient in all of his products to a T. There's no blends, there's no proprietary blends, no mat matrices. It's just like a list of ingredients and how much of each ingredient. So what I want to do is I'm going to go through the list of the ingredients on all the different supplements and talk about one one of them in each video. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the pull day. Um, the pull day. So for conjugate system, there is uh, max effort upper, max effort lower, dynamic upper, dynamic lower. So that's four days a week. What do you do with the other three days? A lot of people like to do mobility, like to take a rest day. Some people just don't work out at all. What I like to do is create like a bodybuilding day, a pull day where I work on back movements and bicep movements. There's no real, I'm not gonna say there's no structure. I go in there maybe with like a focus of doing one specific thing and then kind of feel out how I'm doing but what I do know is that it's a hypertrophy day so it's a lot of reps a lot of sets and kind of just getting into pump mode try to get as much blood to the muscles as possible and just get as much work done as possible so in the, in the workout you'll see that I do I think three back movements one rear delt movement which is like upper back uh, and shoulders and then two bicep movements and for that, to me, it's perfect. I did, I recorded one set of every movement, and I show you guys how many I do. And I did about four or five sets of anywhere from 10 to 15 reps for each body movement. And you guys will see that I started with my favorite like warm up, which is cable pullovers. And it's a great way to start to engage the lats, and I highly, highly recommend it. I love to start with it now. I used to start with pull ups. But now I start with that and I kind of pre-exhaust my lats 
and then get the workout going. But like I said, I want to be able to also educate on this channel, guys. So one thing I'm going to talk about, like I said, is I'm going to break down every supplement that BPN has. Right now there's only three, and I'm going to go ingredient by ingredient. So today, you guys will see that BPN does list every single ingredient, little by little, or bit by bit. And the first one, I'm literally just going to go down the list. And we're going to talk about vitamin C. So now most people don't really associate, like even me, I did not associate vitamin C with working out. I associated vitamin C with um, feeling sick, trying to beat a cold. When I get the sniffles, when I start coughing, I'd start pumping vitamin C, vitamin C, vitamin C. And I've noticed that in all the pre-workers that I've used, there's some dosage of vitamin C as absorbic acid. So what does vitamin C do to you in terms of like working out and why is it in a pre-workout? I've noticed that a lot of the pre-workers that I've used have vitamin C or some dose of vitamin C. So after doing a little bit of research, I learned that the reason vitamin C is in pre-workouts is because when you're working out, your body gets stressed out. Your heart rate starts to increase, um, your veins start to pump a lot of blood, you feel just there's high levels of stress when it comes to working out. I mean, some people think it's good stress, right? And it creates this happy feeling with, through endorphins, but it's still stress on your body regardless, physically. So what happens when you are stressed out is your cortisol levels increase. And cortisol is known to kind of deteriorate the, mus deteriorate the muscles. It's not a muscle builder. It's actually catabolic, which means you kind of start eating away at your muscle tissue and start increasing fat. So that's so the way to kind of minus that is through vitamin C. Vitamin C has been proven to lower cortisol levels. So vitamin C is very, very essential to recovery because post-workout, your cortisol levels are going to be very, very high, and the key is to lower them as quickly as possible. And that is what vitamin C does to your body, and that's why it's in most pre-workouts. Here you have 250 milligrams um, per scoop, which is a great amount. Me personally, not for lifting purposes, but me personally, I take anywhere between one gram to three grams of vitamin C a day, just because I like to have it in my system, and I know it'll prevent me, prevent me from getting sick. So anywhere between 1,000 to 3,000 milligrams spread throughout the day. You don't want to take it all at once. You want to take it maybe morning, afternoon, or in dinner, something like that, or at night, just to get the vitamin C into your system and start flushing out that cortisol. And also it just prevents sickness. It's good for your immune health overall. So in a nutshell, guys, that's what, uh, not cortisol, that's what vitamin C does. And it's just good for recovery, basically. And that's why vitamin C is in most pre-workers that I've used. And like I said, flight has... 250 milligrams of vitamin C as an absor absorbic acid because it absorbs the cortisol and lowers it. It kind of just cancels it out. So that's my little educational tidbit. And then we're going to go, so my plan is to just go kind of down this list. The next one will be beta alanine. So we'll go down this list and then, then move on to the intro workout and then to the creatine. And then pump powder, which is coming up very soon. Alright fans, we just killed that back by workout. Felt awesome, got a good pump in. These days are more for like mobility. Uh, getting a pump in with certain body parts that you don't normally hit. I even hit a little bit of rear delts, which you guys will see in the video that I'll talk about probably before all this. But right now, I got work at noon, and it is, I don't even say, but it's like 10.30. I'm gonna hit two scoops of this with a scoop of this guy right here. Had a scoop of this this morning, awesome. And then I still have my whole tub, which is, should be in here. Yes, filled with like a scoop and a little bit more. I've already had two whole things of this of water, so making it a emphasizing water, 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 staying hydrated, make sure your piss is clear. Fifty grams to the face. Alright fam, so that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you guys are liking the GoPro footage. Sometimes I'm a little iffy with it and whether I like it or not, whether I want to continue using it. It's just easier for me in the gym because it's avoids getting in people's way. And I can do cool shots like me putting the camera on the moving weights and stuff like that. But I'll go back and forth with both of them. Um, but that's gonna do it for the video, like I said. Don't forget, 10% off all BPN stuff, 10% off Wolfpack Gym Apparel stuff which both are working on new, new and improved uh, products, which I'm very, very happy to be a part of, I'm not gonna lie. 
And also stay tuned for some food reviews coming very, very soon. So until next time, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Like I said, don't forget that, to hit that like button. Really, really helps grow the channel. And let's get to 2,000 subs sooner rather than later. So until next time, thanks for all the love. Peace. Cue that outro. Thank <laughs> you.